Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Friday, July 30th, 2021. We made it through another week. Well, we have this day to deal with. And, and let's talk about that. So this morning, we got the uh, PCE uh, report, personal consumption expenditures. Say that three times fast. Personal consumption expenditures. Well, this uh, report demonstrates yet again people something that you already know inflation is skyrocketing and there's no end in sight why would there be when we have a central bank creating inflation by design um we're supposed to be in some kind of an economic boom really oh i see that's why the fed is in emergency monetary policy mode for as far as the eye can see and beyond i mean this is so much bigger than what people really understand is going on. It's epic, absolutely, and no one wants to do anything about it. Anyway, uh, I mean, besides you and I, quite obviously. So off the back of that, uh, and Amazon, actually, and their earnings that did disappoint, stock futures are flat. To, actually, they're slightly lower right now. NASDAQ futures on the back of Amazon uh, is down over 1%. Uh, Dow and S&P futures are also lower. I mean, nothing major here. Uh, Ten-year yield remains relatively stable. Crude oil is slightly lower, uh, and the dollar is slightly higher. Again, not a great setup for the market. Henceforth, why stock futures are lower here. Now, if for some reason, and I'm going to tell you again, I'm going to tell you again, if for some reason this market decides to sell off today well you should buy the dip buy the dip you understand i think you got it i know a lot of you are sick of hearing that uh i am not a permable believe me i'm not i understand clearly how distorted and twisted this this market is it's a freak show of the highest order but all i'm doing here and i'm hoping you are as well, is riding the wave of, uh, of fakery. I mean, a market that is being artificially propped up and will continue to be propped up by a central bank, the Federal Reserve, um, you know, to foster this wealth transfer. We are in the middle of the largest wealth transfer that has ever been seen in the history of the world. Uh, I've explained this for years. I told you clearly that this would eventually happen, but we haven't hit the grand finale yet with regard to this. But the wealth transfer effect is very, very simple. By keeping rates artificially suppressed since well, the meltdown of 08, it has, well, quite frankly, robbed savers and the middle class blind. Um, transferred wealth right up to the one percenters. Stock market keeps going higher here. Uh, and that's the way it's going to go and for the foreseeable future. But you need to understand that you, you have to be on the opposite side of that trade too. Again, I try to put this into a perspective for you that you, you ride the wave in the stock market. You buy the dips in the stock market. You buy the dips in the stock market every single time until the 10-year yield begins to spike at an uncontrollable pace. As long as the 10-year yield stays suppressed, the stock market is going to hit record high, record high, record high. That's what's going to happen here, okay? So in the event that this market decides to sell off today, Monday, the first thing you should be looking at, okay, is the 10-year yield. And you can find the 10-year yield right here on my website, traderschoice.net, in real time. Um, th that's it. They are th there are three keys to this market, and you all know what they are if you follow this blog for any length of time. Ten-year yield. I would say the ten-year yield is number one. Okay. Uh, number two and three are kind of a close tie here. You got the Dixie or the dollar index. What's the dollar doing? Obviously, the market wants a weaker dollar. Um, okay, and the market needs crude oil to be propped up. So maybe crude oil is two. Uh, it's really difficult to say which is two or three here. Um, the propping up crude of crude oil, 
the, the fakery of the, uh, the entire commodities uh, sector of the market, but especially crude oil. I mean, crude oil is the lifeblood of the military industrial complex. You know that. The entire energy sector as a whole relies on crude oil. Look at ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil is doing very well right now. It's one of my stock picks on my uh, website, traderschoice.net. It's been there for at least a week. So if you got in on that, you're doing well. You will be doing well today. Um, you you got to take advantage of this from every angle. And that's really what I've been explaining to everyone for a very long time. You, know, you cannot be a one-trick pony here. And there's no reason to be a one-trick pony. If you have to be a one-trick pony, let's say you don't got, you know, uh, the assets or the ca the cash to to be diversified, then just one, one asset is what? What is it? Physical silver, period. Period the freaking end. If you want to own one asset, if all you have is a little bit of cash to mess with at the end of the month, well, then you, you hoard, hoard, and if I didn't say it, hoard physical silver. It's my opinion. Please do your own research on this, but I think most of you who follow this blog understand what I'm talking about. But you trade the market, or at least you get long the market. You don't have to trade like Greg Manorino. You sell, you know, as you, most of you already know, I am in a net seller of derivatives, seller of options. Okay, do I buy options once in a while? Sure. But 99% of the time, I am selling, I'm selling puts, okay, on the, on against this market. So, anyway, you don't have to do that, but you at least should be owning uh, at least one large cap dividend paying stock. Pick one, okay. Um, there's several out there that look that look pretty promising to me. Anyway. Uh, the, the financial sector, the banks would be a good choice, believe it or not. You know, uh, the, the the banks, in my opinion, uh, like the, the big banks, J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, which are two of my stock picks, again, on my website, tradeschoice.net, um, they, they're never going to lose. Never. They're never. These are, these are the Wall Street super banks, and they never lose. They won't lose. So you want, you know what, you want to ride that wave, you get paid the dividend while you ride the stock. Uh, it's a nice way to create income for yourself, bet against the debt, become your own central bank, hold hard assets. Cryptocurrencies people, again, um, are in a, another avenue for those of you who are not risk averse. Uh, I do believe sincerely that we will again see Bitcoin overtake its all time high and I'm not going to say in a relatively short period of time, but it's going to happen um, in my view. And, and and if you look at my track record on this market, it's pretty stunning. Uh, so, you know, I'm willing to sit back and be patient. I do own Bitcoin and Litecoin and Ethereum and several other ones out there. Um, so, you know, I got my money where my mouth is here. Dash, you all know that. I own several other ones, too. Anyway, um, so that's the story this morning in, in the market. Um, it's, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, surging inflation, surging inflation. It's not going to stop at all. We can expect it to get a lot worse right out of the mouth of Fed, Federal Reserve thing. Yellowstone Powell, he said inflation risk is to the upside. I mean, a big fat duh. Um, Take advantage of these things. All right, the market is going to continue to inflate along with the Federal Reserve's balance sheet. Watch that 10-year yield. Watch crude oil. Understand the dynamics behind these things, the dollar. All right, uh, and, and you're going to do well in this market. You just got to know where to look. You know, it's not that hard. Keep your eyes on the unholy trinity. The dollar, well, let's put this in order again. We, the 10-year yield. Dollar Dixie, the Dixie Index, again, on my website, traderschoice.net. Crude oil on my website, traderschoice.net. My stock picks are on that website. Chat room. Take advantage of these things, people. I don't know another way to put it. It's all there for you so you can stay ahead of this market. The people in my chat room are very smart, very, very smart. Uh, and there's a lot of smart people out there who can answer questions for you. But again, you know, you always do your own research. Understand what you're doing and why you are doing whatever you are doing or not doing it. You understand? 
uh, there's a price to pay for not taking action or taking action in any aspect of life, not just the markets. You understand? All right, look, getting kind of long. I don't like these morning video reports to be too long, but it's an important video. Please share it. Get it out there. I'll see all of you at the end of the day. We'll sum up the freak show. <laughs>